Come on. Yeah. Get him really pumped up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, get it. Get it, get it, get it. You see he's reaching to try and bite at it. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. And then we'll roll it down the hallway. Good job. Hi, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and we've got Sprig. He is 12 weeks old. And if you've been following along, you've seen that he has pretty much mastered some of those basic obedience drills that we've been working on. And now it's time to move into some retrieving work. He has had toys thus far. Yeah, this little love bug is, he's just been a joy to have around. He likes attention, he's super sweet, and he picks up on all of his training really fast. So um, he's had toys, he loves to carry them around, but we haven't put any emphasis at all on an actual retrieve of throw it, pick it up, bring it back to us. So we're gonna start to show you today how we begin that process. Um, he is a lab bred to retrieve. So there should be quite a bit of natural ability there. We're not actually going to use a clicker and treats with this process. We're gonna do more of a developing the natural ability that's there. We use two things, one of which is a little bit of tug of war. And then the other would be just finding something that he enjoys to pick up and carry around and using that. We've got a couple different bumper options. We're gonna start with those. If that doesn't work, we'll move to more of a toy type item and then we'll, we'll eventually move back to bumpers. The goal would be that he loves bumpers and understands that bumpers are used for retrieving. So we wouldn't give him bumpers just to play with or lay down and chew on. They're gonna be pulled out for these sessions that he enjoys working for and um, that would be the only time he gets to see them. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna take one of these DT Systems bumpers uh, well, I'll show you the couple objects that we've got. Stay here, buddy. We have a teeny tiny little bumper. This would be if he's struggling to feel comfortable picking up these slightly larger bumpers. We have one with wings on it. Um, this is also helps to get his attention. And then we have one that is just a plain bumper um, that has DT system scent strips on them. Um, so we're gonna start with this one. This would be the most standard. And then if he has trouble with this, We'll try some of these other options that we've got. Um, the last being a toy. This is a little fluffless, um, squeakless puppy toy that he can play tug with and different things. So we are going to, again, start with this guy. Set those off to the side. Now, to explain what we've got, the, the hallway of retrieving, we have a little baby gate set up over here so that it's blocked off. His pretty much only option is to go down and either stay down there, which then we would hopefully be able to encourage him back or pick it up and bring it back to us. We've kind of eliminated all of the other options. Now, to begin, we're gonna tease him, get him excited about this, toss it, and then evaluate what we need to do from there. Come on, yeah, get him really pumped up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. You see, he's reaching to try and bite at it. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. And then we'll roll it down the hallway. Good job. Good job. Yeah. As he comes back, we're going to tease him again, keep him pumped, and throw him another one. He says, ooh. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You see... He's looking for that escape. Good, I fixed it here. He's got a pretty good grip on this. This is where that little bit of tug of war comes in. I'm pulling on it just a smidgen to kind of encourage him to hold on to it a little tighter. That's gonna develop a really strong natural hold. When we want it, we take it away. Tease him, keep him pumped and focused about this and give him another retrieve. Now this floor is a little bit slick, so he's being cautious, but and it had to go down there and get stuck under the door stopper. He'll improvise. I'll grab it by the string, maybe. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. Good. Good. Again, a little bit of that tug um, to try and encourage a natural hold and stronger desire to hold on to it. 
Good. And then we'll take it away. Now we're only gonna do maybe one or two more. He's still super pumped and that's how we wanna end this session. Good. Right under the doorstop again. There you go, good. Being encouraging, he's looking for where can I take this? And that's why this hallway, we'll pick this one up. This is why this hallway is so important because we have that uh, corralled situation, if you will, he doesn't have any other options. And he can see through this baby gate, so he's kind of looking like that looks like fun, but because it's blocked off, we can keep him headed this direction. Come on, come on. Around the corner, good boy. Good, and this will be a perfect one to end on. I'm gonna tug on that just a smidgen, and then pet him, praise him while he's got it. Good boy, yeah, good boy. And then we will take it away. Good, now teasing him to finish this keeps him super pumped about retrieving, and with this, this object worked great for him. We're gonna continue to use this in all of his sessions. As he gets better at this, We'll be able to move from the hallway to outside and then incorporate him retrieving off of the stand. Not necessarily with steadiness, but he's good at going onto the place board and we'll be able to do retrieves off of the place board. So thanks everybody for watching. This guy again makes all of his training look super easy and that comes down to quality breeding and genetics. Um, the next thing is if you guys want to see all of his upcoming videos. We're getting into some pretty cool stuff here. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on notifications and you won't miss a single video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.